I'm gonna tell you how I got into like a brand new career. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. This is Amin with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success in this life and the next, of course. Now this video, we're gonna get a little bit personal. Usually, obviously, I don't get personal. You know me, you, don't, I, you know I don't get personal, but you know, so maybe I thought if I share some real life thing, a real scenario, you can learn from it. You can kind of cherry pick the things that will apply to you and it will help you, inshallah. So I'm gonna tell you how I got into like a brand new career, a brand new industry, if you like, without going to uni in that specific field, okay? Obviously, I have been to uni, which helps, in getting a job usually but in this I didn't get it in that specific field okay so let's all begin it I was in a job yeah, it was kind of a random job I was in a job I'd been to uni I'd done more degrees than I'm proud of saying okay and I'm in this job and I just get interested in marketing okay I just start reading books I had some time to like read books I started reading 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 books reading blog posts um, listening to articles and just learning more and more and more while I'm working right, at the same time. Now in this period, after, a, I don't know, it might have been six months, four months, something like that, um, someone let me know of someone who was starting a business. So I thought, okay, instead of just sticking to theory and reading and doing all that stuff, let me see if I can actually be of use to someone. Let's see if there's actually practical skills, okay? So I meet this guy, you know, I sit with him and he's like trying to do this business. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He's new to it. And I'd actually read a lot about, um, actually I was reading about marketing, persuasion, behavior change, um, psychology and entrepreneurship, like all that whole area. And they're quite connected, those things. Um, so. I was actually able to help him on the entrepreneurial side and the marketing side and uh, I think you know I helped him a lot to be honest I was able to give him some good pointers good tips and things started going pretty well for him um, but you know I, I was you know I, I actually went all the way to his house like, he kind of invited me and it was quite a long way and I wasn't getting money I wasn't getting anything I, I just thought let me put these things I'm learning in place in reality yeah let me see what happens okay um, let me apply something real rather than just theory okay so that was the idea um, I knew that if I was ever gonna get anywhere with this I need to actually apply it and get experience and you know what they say about experience you can't get experience until you've got experience right so I thought this is my way to get some kind of experience okay so I went there I went all the way I helped him and then I went back um, and then, you know, now and then I was in touch with him. I was giving him some pointers and we were in contact. As the business got better, more people got involved and stuff. Um, he actually offered me to do the marketing for the business for a percentage of the profit. Now, that sounds great. It means that I'm making a real contribution. On the other side, everyone knows like a new, a new business, they don't really have profit. All the money made goes back into the business to help it grow and, and you know, pay for the stuff. So... You know, he offered me that percentage. That was great, but you know, obviously, it wasn't real money yet. Okay. Now I was helping him. Blah blah blah. Fast forward, that that scenario, that kind of period of just learning and then applying here and there. I was applying some of the stuff to um, Sarah Masters as well, and a few other p people I know I was trying to help out and stuff. Kept learning, learning, learning. This period lasted, let's say, a year, maybe a year and three months, something like that. After that time, I had. I was able to have a marketer's CV, if you like. Like, all the experience there was kind of mixed, right? I had education, I had bits of experience. So I got rid of all that experience that was there before. I put marketing experience, okay? And, you know, I made it look um, legit. It was legit in the end. It just wasn't with a, you know, a big company or whatever. Um, I was doing a lot of it freelance. I was getting paid in theory, but not really, if you know what I mean. Um, so this is what got me in the door. This is what got me to the point where I could say, I'm a marketer. On my CV, I can actually present myself as a marketer, as someone who knows what I'm doing. And to be frank with you, I was so obsessed about this in this learning phase that really I did know a lot, okay? It's just I hadn't applied it to a very, very high level in loads of different scenarios, but that's normal because I only said I have one year experience, 18 months experience, something like that. So then I went to apply for jobs. Okay, now 
My CV does not say I've studied marketing or anything like that. However, I applied for jobs and I got interviews, okay? So this is a, a big point basically is that, I, I, you know, the university degree, the, the fact you have a degree, that might matter, yes, no doubt. But then the topic might not matter if you've got some demonstrable, demonstrable, is that a word? Demonstrable um, experience in it, right? So the, the CV, so it's like different levels to it, different stages, isn't there? So the CV was good enough to get me an interview. So that's the first stage. When I go to the interview, I'm actually better than I look on the CV because I can really talk the talk, right? Because I, I know it all in my head. Like I said, I've been obsessed with this for over a year, okay? So I do know what I'm talking about. Um, and sometimes I even know more than the person interviewing me, okay? So I'm able to talk the talk. And obviously, you know, sometimes it's just not a good fit. Sometimes they want someone who's a bit more specialized in this, 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 whatever. But after about six, seven uh, interviews, I got called in for a second interview and I got a job offer, okay? So it's very interesting how, you know, I don't have, I didn't have a degree in that field. I didn't have some big experience. All I had was really on paper, it was like freelancing experience. And then on top of that, I was able to talk the talk and talk like I know what I'm doing. And when I went to interviews, I brought a plan of what I would do for them, a real plan. So I, I researched their business and I said, I would do this, this, this for you and it would do this and it would really help. So I put that effort, that preparation before the interview to go and then um, show, uh, you know, show what I could do for them in real life. If you employ me tomorrow, I will come in and I'll start doing X, Y, Z. So it's very clear to them how you're helping. So I got that job, okay? So th that's the whole point of this video, basically, is that I went from not having experience in that field, not having a degree, to getting a job in it, right? And it was a good job. It wasn't a, a janitor, it wasn't a coffee boy, tea boy. It was a proper job which required skills, and I got that job, okay? So really, I mean, that's, that's what, I want, what I want to show you in this video. Maybe I'll continue the story of what happened after I got the job. That's pretty interesting as well. But the point is, I went from there to there okay I got a job and that's what I want to tell you I want I want to share this not so shared um, experience or pathway that you can follow as well perhaps maybe not if you want to be a doctor maybe not if you want to be um, I don't know lawyer or engineer right but in many fields there is a way like this I can imagine as a journalist for example as a writer as an editor you know these types of fields you could definitely do that right you could go and volunteer and write a ton of stuff you could have a blog with excellent writing and just show them I've been writing for years I've got a hundred blog posts a hundred articles I've been featured here and there boom my degree is in I don't know chemical engineering but I'm a good writer you can see it people featured me blah 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 okay so think about how you can do that for yourself how can you jump into this field or how can you skip that step where you need to beg people for experience if you give yourself for free for a while then you've got, got that experience and then you can talk the talk because you've really done it and then who knows what will happen so that's just really real life story and uh, I hope you take cherry pick the the bits that apply to you really and uh, yeah about it from this week and perhaps, inshallah, I'll share the next part of the story uh, next time. So, uh, yeah, see, let me know in the, in the comments what applies to you, what you think you could apply, because I'm interested in actually in the specific fields that, that you think it would or wouldn't work for. So everyone's in different fields, different studies, everything. So just share those parts with me in the comments. And, uh, yeah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thanks for watching that video, hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.